Hello everyone, just Gordon here and welcome back to another Planet Zoo real life inspiration video and today we are looking at the grey seal and my god this is a long video even though we don't have that much to look at because well the grey seal is sometimes seen in zoos like over here most places I see them is in seal rescues and while I could just show their enclosures we would be done very quickly then and it wouldn't really do these places justice so today we are going to be looking at four seal rescues as well and we're going to look at them pretty much in full so let's get started with some zoos first starting with the dolphinarium and the gray seal habitat here is just a nice big lake surrounded by a nice beach and some dune-like landscapes it really does remind me of walking around in the dunes which makes sense because the place where this zoo or dolphinarium i don't know what you would call that or if that's even a concept outside of the netherlands um, but uh, this was at one point a beach in the very far history of the netherlands it's very complicated we built a very big dam but um over here um we've got kind of a closer view of that beach and we can see the seals kind of swimming around in the distance in the lake over there um which is quite cool and we can also walk further around this habitat where we get to this point which this is actually the harbor seal habitat i decided against putting harbor seals into this video as well because it would make the video ungodly long <laughs> because there are so many harbor seal habitats it does not really make a lot of sense that planet zoo pick the lesser of the the less used seal in zoos uh, but you can see that these two habitats are kind of touching each other or there's water flowing from one into the other so i thought that was quite interesting uh, you can also see how the gray seal habitats kind of connects to this other body of water via a tunnel under the path uh, i'm not really sure if the seals can get there it doesn't look like it um, but it's uh, interesting to note i guess that's it for the dolphinarium next up we are in the zoo of hanover gotta love it um yeah you probably saw some of this already in the zoo tour snippets video this is the uh, mixed sea lion and gray seal habitat with a big uh, stadium over here where they do a special show that involves um both birds of prey uh, there's a uh, american eagle um but Mostly the stars of the show are the sea lions, but the seals also during the show come out a couple of times. I don't know why they, they do it multiple times, but they get some food. They get to show some small tricks uh, nothing too fancy because they are not as dexterous as the sea lions, of course, but it is still really fun that they're also incorporated. And it's an interesting mix, right? Sea lions together with uh, seals. They also do this a bunch, like rolling down the thing. One of them did it like much more extreme than this one but somebody walked in front of my camera and i couldn't record it and i got very upset um but yeah the enclosure itself is super cool as well um you can see all the the theming and the buildings and especially the boat uh, that is next to the polar bear habitat uh, which you can go inside of by taking going into like a little building and going down uh, and where we are kind of inside of the boat slash underwater world Henry's underwater world I think they called it uh, but here's some underwater viewing of the sea lions and the gray seal I don't think I necessarily saw a seal swimming around here when I visited I think it was mostly the sea lions going around but still uh, this is a really cool space I mean it's really awesome theming I love everything about it <laughs> that's really all there is to say about it yeah those are definitely not seals those are so very much sea lions going around so but yeah still really cool really awesome enclosure over here and that's pretty much it for Hanover let's go to the next zoo which is another German zoo the Alvetta Zoo Münster and I thought it was interesting to show that before you got to the gray seals over here uh, you have this little shorebird aviary with some yeah beach theming around and that beach theming kind of continues on into uh, here where we have the seal habitat which is right next to the orangutan building not really sure what the idea was there probably none there probably wasn't any idea uh, but yeah there's this pool over here it's very concrete i guess is the best description i can give it uh, i mean you do get some cool views of the seals as they swim around um, but yeah the enclosure itself does not have a lot going for it in my opinion uh, it looks like actually that picture over there that we saw for a very brief second on the left uh, looked like a sea lion i'm guessing this was an old sea lion enclosure especially looking at the how the terrain kind of goes up and there's a thing for the sea lions to jump off of i don't think a seal would use that very very often um so yeah pretty clearly a, an old sea lion habitat over here 
that's just a bit dated and it's probably fine for the seals but um, yeah not the not the greatest thing this was the first like zuzu that i saw gray seals at Dolphinarium is of course a bit of an outlier because it is focused on aquatic animals so you might expect to see something like a seal there a bit quicker but yeah anyway that was it for uh, the zoos now we're gonna kind of transition to the rescues because over here we are at sea life blankenberge and this is definitely like a zoo it's an aquarium but they also have a seal rescue inside of it i don't think the gray seal over here because over here we can see lily our gray fox i mean gray seal uh, <laughs> uh is is probably just a homestay like they're just a main attraction here but this over here is the rescue. And this is a very basic seal rescue. We'll see a lot more of this kind of stuff. Uh, these are kind of the quarantine areas uh, where the seals first get brought in and kind of nurtured and, and fed. And the reason these um, habitats are so small, I'll, I'll get into as we view more of them. But this looks already like a slightly larger enclosure, um, probably maybe already kind of phase two-ish, not quite sure. Um, Sea life over here doesn't have a lot of space for this. Um, over there you can see an even even larger enclosure. So they do kind of, as they stay here longer, they tend to move up these enclosures. Um, because, yeah, they get healthier and they can kind of start doing a little bit more things. But, um, yeah, there is this big stadium over here as well. And kind of next to the main enclosure, which I don't think is part of the seal rescue. And this is where we can also see Lily over there, the gray seal, kind of swimming around. As we move along, uh, we can see there's a seal information center. Uh, that is something you definitely see a lot at rescues. Tons of education about seals, and this place is no exception. So there's a lot of cool stuff. You can also see there a picture of a car i think we saw more pictures of those cars earlier as well uh, we'll we'll see a lot more cars because all of these seal rescues of course have their own cars to come and pick up stranded seals this was a really cool bit of information uh, it's like about the food pyramid so you've got all these things that you can open up to see um yeah the food pyramid going up and of course at the top of the pyramid uh, at least in our ecosystems here uh, are the seals so yeah really cool stuff then uh, last thing that is interesting to see over here is the kitchen because they do offer uh, some views into that. So over here is the food prep and we can look inside and here's some real life kitchen inspiration. We always love to see that sort of stuff because it's good inspiration for any Planet Zoo backstage or thing that you make in your own zoo. It's so really cool. But now this one's a bit commercial, you know, uh, so one more view of the main enclosure and we'll move on to some actual i mean not saying that this isn't an actual seal rescue but more dedicated seal rescues less commercial aquarium stuff around it with the whole sea life brand so welcome to a seal in Stellendam, and over here we can see their car <laughs> yeah that's uh that's used to save actual lives so of course adoption stuff you can adopt a seal and uh, help the rescue out uh, gift shop very important thing anything to raise more money to help rescue seals uh, and then a sea of information uh, as the sign said and um, stuff about seals about other wildlife about the ecosystem so this over here is in the uh, south of Holland um, and it talks about the Delta works as well which we'll see for a moment later uh, and here we have the uh, quarantine rooms over here. So this is where the seals start out. They, they start out in quarantine. This is kind of step one. And then they move to further steps. I think the, the, the rescue that showed it the best is Peter Bure. So I will probably get into it mostly in that one. Um, but yeah, again, we have a view of the kitchen. They really, these rescues are really open to show you everything about what's going on, about what they do. Uh, this is really cute. This is a little seal hospital. Um, it's education about how the seals end up here, about them like getting sick or injured and then washing up on the shore and not being able to uh, help themselves. Uh, and then, yeah, 
the humans can come in and, and help them out a bit. And here we make it relevant for this video um, because uh, when I visited a seal over here, you can see there were a lot of gray seals actually, because earlier we saw actually one harbor seal, um, but here we have a ton of gray seals. And um, what's interesting about seals is that harbor seals get born kind of around the summertime, uh, whereas gray seals, they get born a little bit later in the year. And that also reflects in like when the they enter the rescues basically because they will be born and then you know they'll be there for a couple of months and then they'll get to a point where they need rescuing so um i visited this zoo i think somewhere around april may ish um so there were a lot of gray seals whereas if you go later in the year uh, you might see some harvest seals again this by the way yeah i'm talking over it but really cool bit of information uh, about how fast a seal can go uh, you can like race it on the cycle i was a very fast cycler though so i did not really have a lot of trouble <laughs> getting away from the seal uh, different education about the different kind of seals um yeah so much cool stuff all around here and i i really wanted to show all of it this one's really important uh, for all the dutch viewers bell 114 that's the phone number that you can call if you see an animal in need it's like the am animal ambulance basically uh, yeah really important to know that number if you ever spot an animal that you think needs help anyway as we move outside uh, we can see a bigger much bigger pool over here this is where the seals that are almost ready for release um, will go and just yeah be, you know, like strengthen a little bit get used to swimming around a bit again and uh, over here you can see in the distance the delta works really awesome uh, dutch landmark uh, a real feat of uh, engineering there uh, which is cool to see, and that, that's where this uh, rescue is located. So they have some things about that as well all around. Um, yeah, more of these pools. They really utilize their small amount of space that they have over here uh, to the uh, to their maximum. So they've got a ton of these pools and things all around. And uh, as we <laughs> move past this cute little seal over here for just a moment, uh, you can see these little baskets over here. Uh, that is what they use to transport the seals back to shore um, when they are ready for release. But yeah, that is a seal, Stellendam. And it was really fun. I really liked my visit here. It's pretty close to Fauna Park Flake, so if you're ever there, definitely come by here as well. Then next up we have Ecomare. This is a seal rescue on the island of Tessel, kind of in the northwest of the Netherlands. Um, you have to take a ferry to get here. I was here um, a week or two ago, uh, as this video goes live, maybe three weeks already. <laughs> um, uh, I, yeah, I specifically went to this island for Tessel Zoo as well as this seal rescue because I had seen almost every seal rescue in the Netherlands, so it was definitely worth uh, taking a visit to this one as well to kind of get all three of them. So yeah, I really enjoyed it. It was really awesome. Uh, again, tons of education, a little cinema area over here playing videos about uh, the Wadden Sea. Um, this was a really cool educational display over here. It's about uh, porpoises. You can see over there, there has been a murder and we are part of the police and we have to find who killed this porpoise? Was it a human with a knife? Uh, was it a, 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 a harbor seal? Was it a fox? Ooh, who could it have been? It wasn't the fox, I can tell you. It was the gray seal. They are the prime suspect. Um, yeah, there's there's a bunch of audio playing and, and explaining things and how the tooth marks of the gray seal fit what is seen on the porpoise. But yeah, it talks about how gray seals uh, eat porpoises, which is a shame because they're also an endangered animal. But um, nature's gonna nature and uh, the gray seals kind of are running out of food in some areas. So they resort to uh, hunting different prey, including also other seals in some areas of Germany, I've heard. So yeah, over here, uh, even bigger cinema, uh, playing other videos about uh, the work that the seal rescue does. Really, really cool. Uh, as we go outside, we're gonna take a quick look at uh, some of the outdoor enclosures. You can see we are in the dune landscape over here as well. All of these seal rescues are really close to the coast. So you have these awesome landscapes all around. Yeah, Ecomara has a pretty cool building as well. And the coolest part of it is that there is a basement, which we'll look at in a second. First of all, here is one of the uh, seal enclosures. This one is for the ringed seal, 
which was not in the enclosure. And I thought it passed away because Zootierliste, uh, the website that like keeps track of all the animals in zoos, it said that it had died like two years ago. So I was really upset because that would have been a really cool species to see. But yeah, we'll, I, I won't save the surprise even though me saying this kind of does it. Uh, anyway, as we head into the basement, you can see over here is a whole kind of aquarium section with all sorts of uh, native species to the north and bottom sea. And there is an underwater view over here into one of the seal habitats. And what do we have over here? What do you know? It is a ringed seal. And it is actually the same ringed seal as Zutilis had passed away two years ago. So uh, I guess I guess they made a mistake. <laughs> um, yeah, that was so cool to see because that's a super rare species that you do not see in a lot of places. So super awesome that they even had a bit of underwater viewing there. Um, really cool. Uh, it was together with two harbor seals. So maybe that's why someone mistakenly uh, saw it as a harbor seal. I don't know. But yeah, super cool over there. Uh, this is that same habitat from above. So yeah, you can see them swimming around in here as well. Um, yeah, just some simple fences all around. Uh, it is a really nice, interesting shape. A lot of these enclosures have these nice rounded shapes. They definitely put quite a bit of effort into it. And then over here, this is the actual gray seal habitat. A bit more on the square side, but there is some nice waviness to all the sides of it as well. And here we can see the great seals kind of swimming around. Uh, definitely the enclosures need a bit of a clean. Uh, they were going to do that pretty soon, actually, as we'll see in a moment. The harbor seal enclosure was already um, being prepared for a deep clean. So yeah, don't worry about that. <laughs> they are being taken care of. So uh, interestingly about the gray seal over here um, is that these are permanently housed here. Um, similar, same as the harbor seals and the ring seal that we saw earlier. Uh, the ring seal came from Burger Zoo, so it was raised in the zoo and it probably cannot survive in the wild because it's too used to um, yeah, being raised by people. The harbor seals in that enclosure, I'm pretty sure, had some sort of injury and that um, prevented them from being released. And the same can be said for these gray seals that we just saw. One of them was uh, almost entirely blind, I'm pretty sure. And uh, yeah, they just have those sorts of issues going on. Um, so they don't keep seals here just because they want to, but if they cannot be released, then yeah, either you keep them or you're gonna have to put them down. I know that Stellan Dom told me they did have to put down some seals in the past because they just don't have the space to, to take them in permanently, because that would also be cruel in the small enclosure that they have and nobody else wants them. So yeah, then there's only one option left, which is a real shame, but yeah, that's just the way things are. Anyway, over here we get more to the rescue part of uh, Ecomare. Uh, over here we have the quarantine, so you can see again these very small, um, small enclosures. Uh, some kitchen materials in the back, you can see a scale as well for weighing things. Uh, what else would you use a scale for? Then on the other side over here, slightly larger enclosures already, also outdoors. So it's more, um, this is where, more where the, the healing can begin after the quarantine period. On the other side, uh, there is also more indoor uh, rescue bits, um, also slightly larger than the quarantines, but yeah, you can see very tiny baby seals in there. They are so cute, and I can definitely tell why people want to rescue these animals. Oh my god, they're so, so freaking adorable. Uh, again, pretty sure those were harbor seals, but on the other side over here are some rescued gray seal and that are in this larger bath already kind of strengthening strengthening and, and getting ready to be uh, released into the wild again sometimes it does happen that these seals need to be rescued multiple times uh, one of the seals in here i would not be able to tell you which one uh, it's, it's one that had like an eye injury they actually were rescued by peter bure at some point and after they're rescued, they get like a little tag or they get chipped or something. So they know when they rescue a seal that has been chipped, they, they can tell where they're from. Uh, so yeah, something happened to that seal that caused them to be uh, like their eye injury didn't like re reappeared and they had to be rescued again. So uh, yeah, it happens. Uh, what's really cool about uh, Ecomara over here is that we don't just have a seal rescue, we also have a sea bird rescue. So there's gulls and other uh, types of birds over here. I forget the name of one of them. Um, but yeah, I thought that was a really cool thing uh, as well that sets this one apart from the other ones. And yeah, just cool views of the entire space over here. 
as well as the dune landscape in the back which is just absolutely beautiful there is a walking path through it as well uh, part of it was closed actually most of it was closed off because i think a pond had gotten a little bit too large and, and spread over the walking path anyway the last of the seal rescues today we are going to peterburen which have a lot of buses this i think is the largest one of the three um, and it's also one of the most well-known ones, I want to say. At least I knew about this one before I knew about the others. I know when Wiser was making his uh, Planet Zoo project that included the seal rescue, he took a lot of inspiration from this. And, and that also really inspired me to go visit these places and, uh, and yeah, see them as valid inspiration because yeah, you can totally make a seal rescue in Planet Zoo if you want to. So in the background, uh, we can see once again a cinema over here. Of course, these places love to show you the work that they do and, and convince you by showing you that uh, they need your help in uh, being able to keep doing this work so again tons of education all around really awesome signage i love the house style of peter Bure. they have such a nice color scheme uh, and there's so much fun stuff all around this place but uh, let's look at some seals so in Peter Buren, they really explain the rehabilitation process really well. There's, there's signs above these quarantine chambers that really show you phase one. This is phase one of the rehabilitation process. The seals need to be quarantined and uh, need to strengthen up. So uh, they are put in these small enclosures. Actually, these are already larger than the ones we saw at the other places, uh, but they can be closed off, as you can see, to be even smaller. And the reason these places are so small, it's not to be cruel to the animals, it is to make sure that they don't waste any of their energy. Um, by giving them little space to move around, you make sure that they don't move around too much, so that all the food that they eat will go into strengthening their body and not into moving around unnecessarily so yeah it, it it has a very good reason and uh, it's not animal cruelty so yeah even more awesome education around one of my favorite signs over here um is <laughs> this one about evolution and there's a red panda on there so obviously <laughs> it's my favorite sign uh, i did not expect to see a red panda in a seal rescue but here we are um and yeah there's just just look around just so much cool inspiration again we have a, a view into the kitchen as well over here um, and it, you can see five kilos of herring per seal per day that is how much fish they eat uh, which is crazy expensive of course which is why these places need need support so if you in this video see any of these places and think wow i really appreciate what they do don't hesitate to 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 look them up i will put links in the description as well and and donate to these places because they do need the support to keep doing this this uh, really important work so over here we are already looking at kind of phase two of the rehabilitation process where the seals are given more space and more freedom uh, and also already um, better food these ones over here are still not uh yeah healthy enough to eat on their own so you can see the the keepers over here uh, are kind of forcing them to eat and drink a little bit uh, but as we go outside we will see some seals in this stage that are already getting actual fish to eat again um but yeah just even more education donation bins of course very important as well uh, connected to that pool that we saw on the inside uh, is also this pool over here on the outside. You can see over here the seals on the outside uh, want to get in on the action that's going on inside with the feeding. Uh, but yeah, also, you can see there's a, um, a pin uh, donation stand where you can pay by card uh, because not everyone has cash on them. There's a map outside because this is actually a very large outside space as well. We can see those buildings in the background. Oh, yeah, here you can see more of the outdoor pool. Uh, connected to that indoor pool. This is all about phase two. Um, yeah, where they're given more space and and, uh, and actual fish. So over here, you can see these enclosures have been netted over, of course, to prevent the seagulls from uh, getting the fish. And then over here, finally, we have phase three. This is where the seals are almost ready for release and they are given a full pool to kind of explore. In the background, we can see the crates that they use to release the seals back into the sea. And these buildings in the background are actually even more um, rescue stations. Like you could see signs that set phase one on them. This, by the way, it was the only gray seal at Peter Buren when I visited this place. I was really happy to see one because I didn't quite know yet just how common 
and they actually are as I would be visiting the other places and see many many more and we yeah, had those buildings we saw in the background uh, were even more spacious kind of off exhibits I want to say like out of the view of the public these these buildings in the back have even more quarantines even more pools like they really have a lot of capacity here because they take in a lot of seals which is so good and I mean we love to see it so over here as well in the kind of dune landscape uh, you can take a walk around there's some art installations there's some other education about uh, about the landscape over here my favorite bit of education over here is this thing which is like a compass and you can turn around and the arrow will point at something and then the sign will tell you what that something is i think that's absolutely awesome it's so much fun uh, there's a little playground over here where your kids will get absolutely soaked and, and we can see that kind of blue building we saw it in the background of a couple of places already and that is a small restaurant but also there was a temporary exhibition about the wooden sea which is of course a very important kind of nature reserve nature area in the netherlands it is a very unique ecosystem uh, that is also home to a lot of seals so yeah that's it for peter buren pretty much i think oh no wait there's one more pool the seed is another one of the phase three pools, but this one is pretty special. Uh, you can see this crane is there that they can use to lift seals in and out of the pool. Uh, but most importantly, what's nice about this pool is that they have underwater viewing as we go inside. Uh, and even more interestingly, they have a live camera that I'm pretty sure is always aimed at this pool uh, that you can see on their YouTube or on their website, uh, which is always fun to see if there is actually any seals in there. So yeah, really cool stuff. Absolutely love Peter Buren. Uh, there is even more education over here as well. Are you talking like me? Are you dancing like me? It's comparing seals to humans, I guess. Uh, we can see some skeleton. Uh, we can also see even more education about the different seals that live in the Netherlands. The grey seal and the uh, harbour seal. Uh, the grey seal is actually, by the way, fun fact, the largest predator of the Netherlands. Uh, yeah, over here we've got more education about the animals living in the Wadden Sea. And uh, there's also a little playground with a sandpit indoors that is probably making a huge mess. Anyway, that was it for the seal inspiration video. Hope you got some grey seal inspiration. And maybe one of you is going to be making a seal rescue in Planet Zoo. That would be really cool. Share it with me if you do. That would be awesome. Do it on my Discord server or something. Uh, anyway. I might one day make a harbor seal video as well. Uh, once we are done with all the animals in the game, we might do other animals. Who knows? Anyway, for now, I'm going to sign off. Bye-bye.